Hey, buddy! Buckhouse here. Welcome to New Super Mario Brothers, the first of the... Well, New Super Mario Brothers... Set of games, actually. <laughs> if I'm gonna start doing some New Super Mario Brothers or anything on the DS, I figured this would be, this would be a great place to start. I uh, like this game fair enough, and I would say it's one of the... Um, Better new Super Mario Brothers games. Okay, you've got a gonna options here which are pretty standard. Sound, headphones, stereo, sound, headphones, stereo, sound Okay. <laughs> so waste any more time with stupid shit. Let's actually get the game going. New Super Mario Bros. Oh no! A thunderstorm that hit only the castle! Shocker. I like how it gets shrunken off screen. <laughs> Alright, let's get this going. World 1 1, let's. well, do it. Okay, this first things go, it's pretty bare bones basic. You know, you stomp on your enemies, you hit question mark blocks, and you get special power ups. It's totally cool. Alright, I wanted to bring your attention to the bottom screen. Yeah, that not only gauges your progress, but if you have a secondary item, it'll be stored down there, which is really nice. You out and I. Oh, I can't go down there. Right. <laughs> it's been a while since I played New Super Brothers, so it kind of bear with me here. Oh, check this out. Boom! A new power up called the Mega Mushroom. You destroy everything in your path. Everything will fall to your mercy. Ah -ha! Ah -ha! Yes, the more you destroy, the more one ups you'll gain at the um, end of your, well, time limit. Okay, I believe I may have destroyed the pipe I need to go down. Yes, I have! <laughs> Great, so I'm got to come back to this stage in particular. Uh, I'm not overly stressing getting every, um, Star coin, which is what's well down there. If there's any star coin that I may missed, I will go back for them. Star coins are ba are basically um uh, collectibles that unlock stuff. Any star coins that I miss, I will be going back for do a special cleanup for. So I'm not really stressing it. There. There's a special red question mark block, which, well, net you kind of special power. Which, uh, fire flower, okay. Can't really say that's all that special, but I'll need to show this. Yeah. Just tap it and you can use it whenever. It's kind of like Super Mario Bros. To my world, which is really nice. Okay, that, that would have been embarrassing getting hit by Goomba straight away. That would have been bad. Okay, now, I believe kind of like it. I'll, um, Super Mario. Super Mario Bros. 1. Yeah, you can just run along the ceiling, but only to a certain extent. Which, uh, one of these star coins I remember being kind of cleverly hidden. Which, we'll be seeing here soon and give me my money! Yes! Oh, okay. If you successfully get enough coins from those coin blocks, you will get a mushroom at the end of it. It's not the, over not the most overly useful thing in the world, but if 
You're in desperate need of a power up. I guess that would be a good way to do it. You know, well, in quite a few stages like this, they are pretty kiddish with power ups anyway, so it's not the most overly useful thing in the world, like I said. But, oh well. I'm gonna go up here and run along here. There's your third star coin. But that's not all. Go to this pipe. The flag is red! Oh my god, what is that? Oh no, what do we do? It's so nice. Yep, that's the secret exit. <clears throat> and we can just skip. Right to the fortress! <laughs> Alright, I might as well show this. <clears throat> this is a mushroom toad house. The timing of this is kinda tough, but you can get a really good item. And I- GET A MUSHROOM! Screw you, Toadsworth! He's immune by fire. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I had some pretty bad luck on that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rerun through the stage. I'll see you in a moment! Okay. After the Koopa Shell. This can be a good, pretty good. I uh, <laughs> this can be a pretty good power up. I believe the shell is yep defensive. Also, if you run for long enough, yeah, you're basically a um, anywhere at all spinning shell. It's quite a good power, if I may say so. <laughs> Might even be able to complete the entire stage like this, actually. You know, I'm gonna go and try that. Alright. It's not the easiest thing in the world, unfortunately. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna just stop right there because, yeah, like I said, it's not the easiest thing in the world. But using the right situation, it's definitely um, a good power up. And dare I say, my favorite in the game. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that would have been bad. Uh, can you tell I'm playing in a while? Flexible. <clears throat> What'd you be thinking this LP? Blackpool. <laughs> okay, here's one of the things that the um, star coins are useful for. What? Opening special pathways. What? I, I hit no one, I didn't realize it. <clears throat> In a way, I like how the default option is no, in case you want to save those coins for another path. But check this out. We are playing a one-up game. Either we play to unlock all the, um... Or that! Yes, that works too. Unveil all the panels, in which case you get more lives that way. Or, until you flip Bowser, in which case, fuck you, your life sucks. Okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Your game stops there, and you get all the, um, lives that you already flipped over. So, thankfully, it's not much as much of a jerk at it as, hey, you flip Bowser, you get nothing. Okay, so I like, I like this here. We have this, uh, Bring a spring spring. 
Take out those springs that you just jump on off of and you slowly climb down. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of would like to see New Super Mario Brothers uh, as a um, Super Mario Maker 2 theme. I mean, come on, it's begging to be done. I mean, yeah, New Super Mario Bros. U, but honestly, just this a world where you have the um, Koopa Shell as a um, power up kit. It would be a it would be a game changer, I'm saying. Okay. You got I gotta be really careful here with the Koopa Shell. Whoa, whoa. Oh I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, if you hit a checkpoint, any star coins that you have, you retain. It goes without saying, but you can't keep the um, star coins until you complete the stage. Kinda makes sense actually because well it makes it more skill based that way. Right. Well, there we go, okay. <clears throat> I gotta be honest though, um the number of times I've seen Star coins represented near every game. I'm kind of a little tired of seeing these things. Especially since recently I've been um, <clears throat> playing through um, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Can I go? But here we are. But the fortress awaits. These guys, you know them, you love them, dry bones. Okay, kind of, I kind of like how the um, fire flower doesn't overwrite the um, the blue shell, which is going to be needed here in this level. Also, I kind of want you to. Take a moment to listen in on this music. Not the best song in the world, but it's alright. To the point at that it at least does its job. Okay, now if you have the power shell like I do, this is where you need it. There ain't no Koopa Troopa here so that you can break these. We now have to find a boss! Excuse me, please. Mario, well... <sighs> okay, I gotta admit, the blue shell can be a little... You know, fuck it, just in the stage. <clears throat> The blue shell can be a little unyieldy at times. But I still do like the power up in your race. Yeah, we can skip the boss. We can just use... I'll show what that does another time because... I just don't have it in me to use it. Cannons basically let you skip entire worlds. Alright, let's actually complete this stage proper. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Fine. I don't need the, um... Power shell beyond this point.
So, <laughs> let's get on my back. Going beyond that door, which isn't really all that much further. Hey! Who knew walls had drivers? <laughs> okay, that was kind of dumb. You need a license to drive those doors. <clears throat> and yes, at the end of every tower, we face this guy. Three stomps, I'll do them in. <clears throat> okay, lately, I know he's saying, that's so nice, but I can't help but hear it as, Dex it so nice. <laughs> well, Dex it is a dumb hashtag. I gotta agree with it. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about that. I just wanted to say it kind of sounds like Dex is so nice. Uh, here. You see those? It's kind of different in a way from the mushroom houses. Well, it's kind of the same, but kind of different. <clears throat> the Mega Mushroom House! You will always get a Mega Mushroom. Very nice to rain destruction and put everything in your path! Here I go. Or curb stomp them. <laughs> Either or, take your pick. I'd rather use it in. Oh, so much for that. One thing I gotta say I don't like about this game is that just whenever you happen to enter a um whenever you happen to enter a level and you are holding down the dash button it doesn't activate until you release and hold it down. It's it's kinda of one thing I don't like. It's just it's just a very me thing to complain about. Like so. Especially in Nowadays, where okay, it just sounds like I'm playing now. Mini mushroom, walk on water. I guess you jump a little higher, but you're much weaker. I've tried to demonstrate that. There we go, yes. A standard jump won't be able to do it. Oh, there we go. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with my deep pad? Yes, yeah, actually I have to butt stomp in order to do any actual damage. <clears throat> Not only that, but it's also basically mini mode. Where one hit by anything will end you off. And yes, you actually have to be tiny to access certain worlds. Uh, we'll be getting to that when. We die a mini felt death! Yeah, that's totally what I wanted to be saying. I am many fill death. Oh well, I'll go and take the fire flower and get what I missed town on last time because I was too small. I'm a too small. I wouldn't necessarily consider that a power up more as it would a power down. <clears throat> But in the sense that you can access those tiny pipes and everything. <laughs> tiny pipes. 
<laughs> Sounds like an insult. I don't know things to come if I'm already playing this badly. <clears throat> Especially when I have to do the other world, so. Probably do one more level and then I'd kind of end things off. <clears throat> A lot of progress, sell like cow. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, mine. Let's try going to another gate. Another gate. Awesome. Uh, that's what I get for being cocky. Just and that's what happens when the dash doesn't activate right away. I, I seriously will not stop complaining about that. Seriously, it's such a dumb thing they implemented. Just whenever you get to a new area like this, just release it and press it. Just release the button and press it again. Woo! <clears throat> Here I thought we were done already because we got all we nabbed all the star coins. Yeah, I think my D bag just made me going. Awesome, give me my one up. Yes, whenever you have a higher stage power up, that always results in a one up. Dad, will you cooperate? Come on. Come on, man. <clears throat> I think my game bad in general might be having problems. Yes, and I s that is what I'm sticking to. Oh! Uh, because I didn't get that last red, red coin, I don't get the power up. Why does everything always turn into lemons? Oh, I can always grind pound these blocks and guarantee to get it that way. It will never result in anything but mushrooms. So. As he would say, delicious yum yum mushrooms. And helpful fire flowers. That's that! We made through most of World 1, which is spectacular progress. Even though we missed a few star coins here and there. <clears throat> but next time on Let's Play New Super Mario Brothers, we are going to be finishing World 1. See you guys then.